a couple years ago after the housing market collapsed. This was a very common scene, padlocked doors and empty homes. There was a big boom in Athens. Did you feel it? Find out exactly what it was tonight on News Source. It's not only the focus of a conversation, but it's also the topic of a federal investigation. Well, Jenny, actually, it's a little bit early for all of that. The festivities don't actually start until later on tonight and into the wee hours of the morning. Check out the Bowman Elementary Facebook page. You have parents lighting a fire on it, some saying that it would decrease quality education while increasing chaos in the community. Now, Jeff Sieg also said that Mother Nature plays a role on whether they will conduct the blast or not. We're getting closer and closer to midnight. Most parents would not think that their sons and daughters would be out at this time, but little do they know, eating is the last thing on their mind. One minute you're eating a salad, the next you're taking a trip to here. Find out how that's possible tonight on Grady News Source. It's been five years since the housing bubble burst, sending the U.S. economy on a downward spiral. Local economies, including the one here in Athens, were not immune. Jeff Kuhn is a broker at the Carriage House Realty, and he says profit-driven home buyers were partly to blame for the downturn. It seemed like everyone was trying to buy up whatever they could, and then a lot of times people were losing track of the, the fundamentals behind it. Trulia.com reports the average listing price in Athens at just over $200,000, a half percent increase from this time last year. Even though things are looking better, the economy is by no means ideal. But surprisingly, Tax Commissioner Mitch Schrader says revenues haven't suffered here in Athens. We do feel like we're doing a very good job of collecting those taxes. And by doing so, we feel like that burden is spread across the entire community and not being pushed to those uh, who can afford to pay their taxes. And that isn't the only positive sign for realtors and mortgage lenders. Many would agree that the highly anticipated Caterpillar project will increase supply and demand for both jobs and new homes. The recent outlook is a refreshing cause for optimism, an optimism that may be needed for the housing industry to bounce back. Reporting from Athens, Eric Jones, Grady News Source. Swipe, swipe, swipe. It's how most of us pay for things now, especially our meals. But imagine if that mundane ad could get your identity stolen. The red and black first broke the story today after a UGA financial aid employee reported her debit card stolen and used multiple times. An athens Clark County Police report linked the fraudulent charges back to when the woman first used her card at the taco stand location on Broad Street. UJ student Ali Pata was alerted of someone using her card information after her card got rejected when she tried to make a purchase with it last week. Someone had spent over $200 at Toys R Us in Michigan. And so I said, I've never been to Michigan in my life. I've haven't been to Toys R Us since I was like 10 years old. There have been 40 to 50 fraud cases reported to the athens Clark County Police Department. Manager Rod Farr says he is doing everything to make sure nothing like this ever happens again. I hate that it happened. You know, I mean, we were, you know, we were victimized as well, you know, with this. And it was, you know, they got into our system. But we're, um, we're putting every safeguard out there. Farr says that the taco stand has been cleared of any fault for the scam after local and federal officials came in to check out the restaurant's equipment. But as a precaution, he says, his store will change from using an internet-based auditing company to a telephone line-based one. Maybe these safeguards are welcome news for those who are ready to pay for their next meal with a card. Reporting from Athens, Eric Jones, Grady News Source. Students came to learn more about jobs, meet employers, and get a major pep talk from Judge Glenda Hatchett. Schools and papers and working and all the things that people are trying to balance. But I also want them to understand that they are here on this earth for a purpose. Dozens of sleep deprived college students made to order omelets, grits, bacon, and biscuits and waffles with a Georgia G stamped on them because they are scientifically proven to taste better that way, many would say. No, it's not a late night Waffle House trip. It's a celebration at UGA's own Snelling Dining Commons. And students partaking in the festivities can only do it once. Probably, give or take, a hundred times. Literally. Snellibrating happens when students come to Snelling late at night or either early in the morning. The dining hall offers your traditional food up until midnight when the pizza is gone and the breakfast is served. Students come in tote with empty stomachs, a lot of noise, and surprisingly a willingness to get their work done. Use this place to pull their all-nighters, to cram for exams. Uh, some people even sleep 
downstairs. Celebrations bring a mixed crowd of students. Of course, some freshmen are in the lines, ready to compete for their dibs on the hot food. But there are also some veterans. Senior Jameen Wang says he's been celebrating faithfully since his first year at UGA. Now it's like, I feel like I'm a little old for it, so it's like another day at Snelling to me now. No matter a student's class or purpose for coming, it's safe to say that celebrating will be on the UGA bucket list for a long time. Reporting from Athens, Eric Jones, Grady News Source. One man is heading back to Clark County Court on a 2005 murder charge. Makaya Thurman is live in the newsroom to tell us why it's taken seven years for him to stand trial. Makaya, why is this so? And we turn now to that fatal avalanche in Washington. CNN is reporting that the three people killed in the accident on Sunday were actually experienced skiers. Jim Jack, Chris Rudolph, and John Brennan were part of a group of 12 highly skilled skiers when they were all engulfed by falling snow at the Cascade Mountains. And time is ticking on those tax returns. Students, you can't blow off this deadline, at least not like I have. News Source reporter Andrew Barnhart has some tips on how to make this process even easier.